Hello everyone, this is 60% Cat. Today we're going to talk about a concept that I am interested in talking about. It's control. I believe this word itself shouldn't exist in the English language. It's what you would call a misnomer. Um, basically the word doesn't make sense. It's, it can't exist. Let me explain how so. Say uh, you're driving your car, you know? You feel like you have control of your car. I mean, you get to decide what you put, what kind of fuel you put in and what the oil is and stuff. And uh, you have the steering wheel and you have these little control panels. They call it a control panel. But are you really in control? I believe more so you have influence. And this is the proper term that when we talk about control, we're, that's what we really mean is that we have a great influence. But control implicates that you have absolute mastery, absolute control, <laughs> it's hard to use any other word, uh, over something. That it cannot move without you. You are an absolute puppet master over whatever you quote unquote control. which. I believe doesn't exist in any facet. We we don't even control our bodies. Our bodies might listen to us when we say lift our arms or go over there, but it also has uh, compulsive actions such as breathing or or you know you gotta take a shit sometimes and stuff like that. You have a lot of influence, a ton of influence. You could almost say you control your body, but you don't. Nobody controls anything in the world, ever. And I think with that, with that realization, you have a lot more influence in your life, which is what you actually have. You actually have influence on absolutely everything. So, let's look at that perspective. If you know, say you want to raise in your job, you're like, damn it, if I was just like the manager or something like that, I could just make that happen. Uh, if you wanted to, you cannot control that to happen. You're not the manager to choose that wage. Um, but there are things you can do to influence. For example, a lot of ways we can influence things is just by communication. Hey, you know, I've been working here for a while, and you know what? I really need, uh, I feel like I earn, I should earn more money. Or you can, you know, blackmail the person. I mean, you have all sorts of choices and way to influence your situation. But no matter what, even if you literally have somebody in, a, in like a hole, and they're restrained, even in, in the hole and restrained, tied by a rope, and you're up here and you have the only food they need to survive. Do you think you control that person? Almost, quite almost. No, you fully, you have a great influence. Because that person wants the food, they're restrained, but they can still have a limited amount of choices. They still have the full choice of what, what's available to them. And if you realize that in your life, that you can't control situations in your life, that you know, crazy shit happens and there's all these elements in the world that you cannot control. It's totally this crazy place, but yet you can influence everything. And you do constantly influence just with your presence, with every moment of your existence, with every choice you make, you are influencing absolutely everything in the world. So be aware of your choices and your influences and you can better navigate your life.